Yo, what it do, 2K fans? This your boy, Ju King the Boss, and I'm back at it again. It's that time of year. We're all getting ready for NBA 2K19. Everybody has had their chance to dive into the prelude and just kind of like um, see what kind of build they want to test out. Everybody knows that you just kind of play around in a prelude. You don't really take it too serious, mainly because the build that you that you chose might not be your final build. Plus, we all know that with the final product, we'll be able to see what what these numbers represent when it comes down to the plus and minuses of adjustments to the build. Now, in the video you're currently watching is going to have each combination of build imaginable in the game um, with the minimum, maximum, and starting. So the base, uh, height, weight, and wingspan. Once again, it's gonna have each build from point guard to center, each combination from playmaking, shot creator, to a pure rebounder. It's gonna have each combination that you can go with, and it's gonna have the minimum, maximum, and the starting uh, caps of um, height, weight, and wingspan. So when it comes down to it, I plan on letting y'all use this video however y'all want to. You can freeze and you know get a capture of the screen. Uh, you can download the video, use it however you want. Uh, that you don't have to, you know, throw no shout outs or nothing like that. Use the video because there are a lot of YouTubers that I watch that drop their build combinations that they like. And I kind of want to see them really dive deeper into it. And I want to hear what uh, what everybody has to say about it. So snatch whatever information you want from the video itself. So that way you can see how you want to build. What I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to extract a still of each build combination. And once again, put it into a Dropbox folder and then add the link where everybody can access it and download the one that they want. Download the ones that they want. Uh, it's all about like to me, it's all about the community and just trying to make sure that you have all the information that we can have at this current moment. Um, people kind of want to be able to get their jump on 2K19. Now, some of us will have the game come Friday, uh, September 7th. And others will be getting the game the following Tuesday on September 11th. Now, regardless of which day you get it, I want to make sure this video goes out with enough time for you to be able to kind of look and see what builds are you are you looking for, what what uh what plus and minuses you can expect from a particular build. Now, for me, I'm going with the same build I went with last year. I love the build both in the competitive sense and the casual sense. I, and with all the different new game modes they're gonna have, I think it's gonna be a fun build for me to play with. Now, it's like a lot of people are saying, we won't know exactly how dominant these builds can be until we've gotten our hand on the full game where we can test these builders out in all of the game modes available. So I don't wanna sit up here and tell you which, which builds are gonna be the best because I play one way, I can't expect you to play the same way. Um, but I will work on telling you, you know, my opinions on combine, uh, uh, comparing two different builds uh, or comparing the same build in both directions. So comparing a playmaking sharp, uh, sharpshooter to a sharpshooting playmaker. Uh, and, you know, I plan on working on things like that. Now, there are a couple of things that I happen to notice when I was going through and, and uh, getting each and every one of these builds um, from the game was is unlike last year, the small forward doesn't isn't able to do any combinations like any all combinations. Last year, the small forward was able to do any primary and any secondary. This year, they can do any primary, any secondary, except for they can't have a primary rebounding. And it's understandable, uh, mainly because rebounding as a primary skill uh, early on for a small forward might not seem like a big a big deal, but with the takeover badge, it'll make them a little bit OP to be able to even for a moment see when a rebound is coming off the off the uh, off the backboard and things like that. So it's one of those things where it's like you can do that at bigger builds, but you know, um, small forwards can't do that at uh at, at the beginning. They want to make sure that small forwards are still the more versatile players. But at the same time, giving them that 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 glass cleaner primary ability would make them a little more OP because they're faster than all, all the big men um, and they shoot better than all the big men. So it's a little bit of a balance. There's been a lot of noise going on in the community um, about what some of these caps come out to. So like you'll see certain certain abilities can cap out at a maximum of uh, 23 um, attribute points and that still might only equal to 80 or uh or a 79 that right there kind of explains away 
some of the overalls that they gave us when it come down to um, NBA players is it seems like they they changed the way the overalls factor into everything. But uh, also there was something I noticed um, last year. I told people that uh, the even build rule was one of the best ways to build your player because you spend less VC uh, when you're just buying the um, the attributes. So even though this year it's the same thing when it comes down, the first attribute of each of each level that you buy only will cost you 100 VC. So after one game, you can upgrade 14 of them. The thing about it is, is that each um, each stat actually does have a different impact on your overall. And to me, that's a good thing because you can kind of boost up your layups or your dunks um, and, and level up a lot quicker than you could the last time. And to me, it's a it's a it's a positive and a negative because it really just depends on uh, what caps are being unlocked when you level up your caps and things like that. So there's like I said, there's a lot a lot of information in this video alone and once again um if you skipped ahead this far i just want to reiterate that anybody and everybody is free to use this video however they see fit you can download it rip it um i'll even like i said i'll even be taking out each individual uh each individual screenshot and putting them in drop files so that way people can access the 1080p version of it uh, you know so that way you don't have to just focus on having the 720p some people kind of want the 1080p so if they want to do another video and they want the 1080p quality then they have it they don't have to worry about stretching it so that'll go in the description as soon as i finish cutting each uh each individual screenshot out and place it in the video um so another thing i want to i do want to hear from the community um anybody who's watching the video who wants me to give my opinion on a specific combo build or a specific pure build you know just let me know in the comments uh of this video or any other video that come out after this mainly because each of the videos coming out for the rest of the week are going to mainly be focusing on build combinations uh my personal opinions on maybe competitive focus builds um fun focus builds a combination builds, uh, sleeper builds. I did that last year. My competitive builds, you know, they had some good numbers on it. And I want to kind of do the same thing this year. I've had quite a few people tell me, hey, look, the reason why I created this build because I watched your video, watched you break it down. And so they're looking for me to do the same thing this year. And I feel the best way for me to kind of like help this week pass by faster for me because we're all waiting for Friday or some people are waiting for Tuesday. Uh, well, the next Tuesday, not the upcoming Tuesday to just kind of like get to the game. Like we, we all want to fast forward this week and just be in 2k19 right now because there's so much to go over there's so much to do the neighborhood is looking really cool also i did in my last video talk something about the uh the wheel spin and how you can earn certain things and there was one particular piece of information on the wheel spin that said that, that we kept thinking said like mt points but in actuality that says my points and if you play the prelude you would notice that at the end of the game you earn my points so to be able to earn an additional 2,000 my points just for spinning a wheel is awesome. Um, I did take time to look at the each of the level unlocks and uh, level upgrades. There's going to be a lot of angry people who want to be mascots because it looks like you got to be at 98 to be a mascot. That's I won't say it's going to be a lot of angry people. I mean, I wouldn't be one of them because I, I really don't worry about playing with mascots. I kind of like playing with my build. I kind of like just swapping out my... It, it's, it should be fun every now and then, but, you know, I kind of like just playing with my build, swapping out. But it's going to be fun to see the mascots playing on, like, the uh, the slam ball the slam ball courts, what they call that, the Under Armour cage. Uh, that's going to be fun seeing the mascots there. But I just, like I said, there's a lot of th things I'm doing this week. And so this is how pretty much the schedule is going to go. Um, the first thing I'm going to work on is the point guard builds and I'm going to be doing a comparison. So I'll do a comparison of something like a two way playmaker versus a uh, playmaking uh, lockdown defender. OK, so I plan on doing um, different little setups like that. Utilized NBA 2K lab for the badges. I was going to put the badges in the video, but you can go to NBA 2K lab and for the most part, get get the badges and which badges are at what level for which build. And here I'm just going to kind of focus on letting you see the stat line, see, letting you see the numbers. Uh, I haven't seen anybody post it yet. So like I said, I just want to make sure I know everybody kind of like jumped into the prelude, did some basic information of kind of seeing what build they wanted to go with um, or seeing 
seeing a couple bills that they like, but I kind of just wanted to make sure that you had every single build combination as possible, allowing you to really kind of like dive in to say, okay, you have a week from today to just see which bills that you want to go with. Take a take a screen cap at, at one point and maybe you might see a bill with the height and weight that you like. And that's my whole goal. Like my thing is, is that when we go into 2K19 for the first time, we're going to spend an hour, hour and a half just working on our build. Well, for the most part, you can cut some time off just by watching the video, taking out the pieces that you want and seeing where uh, where your build lines up when it come down to playing competitive versus playing casual, where their strengths and where their weaknesses are. Another thing I wanted to kind of I'm going to ask uh, uh, Mike Wang on Twitter. Um, whether or not the plus minus of these numbers is three, five, four, you know, whatever that plus minus is, because that's going to also help. So if we can get an answer to that. That'll kind of allow people right out the gate, um, know at least what the plus minus is for the max. We'll figure out everything else in between as we go and estimate as we go. But uh, I made some pretty good estimations last year when it came down to what my cap are going to uh, uh, max out at. So I plan on doing the same thing this year. Um, like I said, I kind of wanted to try to make this video as short as possible, but I wanted to make sure that there was always a point in time where you could see every build and uh, utilize every build. Now, in this video, let me just kind of also let y'all know a few a few creative builds that I am looking for. Last year, I did a post-scoring playmaker at point guard. I actually like that build this year, uh, mainly because every build has some basic defense cap defensive capabilities. So a post scoring playmaker, like a lot of pure offensive builds, and I don't mean like a pure sharpshooter or a pure shot creator, I mean just a pure offensive build. So like a, a build that just have primary and secondary offensive skills are still gonna be pretty decent on defense. They're not gonna be better than your defense first builds, but depending on the person on the stick, they could be. Just like defensive builds are not going to be ones that really weaken your team's chances of winning if you know how to shoot. Like when it comes down to it, they, they've been talking about this for the past few days. They've been talking about this for the past month. That shooting is going to be harder to do when the game comes out. And the reason why that is because they wanted skills to matter. One of the questions Mike Wang asked last month was, um, should uh, shooting be dependent on uh, stick? stick skills or should it be dependent on um your your character's overall and there's a proper blend in between the two where stick skills takes the bigger the bigger advantage of it so your skills on a stick and and your timing should be the most important factor but your skills uh, as your players overalls should also be a factor and you know i just kind of want to go over some bills i'm gonna be looking at some screen captures and just kind of like breaking down certain bills. One of my bills I'm going to cover will, of course, be my two-way shot creator versus uh, the shot creating defender. Um, uh, yeah, two-way shot creator versus, my bad, uh, uh, defensive shot creator. Shot creating defender versus two-way shot creator. Two-way shot creator is primary shot creator first, uh, primary shot creator, secondary defense, uh, shot creating defender, it's primary defense, secondary shot creating. And believe it or not, um, when when you got a build that can shoot, it does help. When you decide that you want to put the primary focus on your defense, it's going to help you even more. But because defense is such, a, uh, is such an improvement, now we won't know until the game completely comes out and we have a chance to really mess around with how big the defense is. But... Because we we will get the chance to do that, it's one of those things where I like what's going on um, and I can kind of pick a build that really just resonates with me. So you don't have to pick a defensive first build. You technically don't have to go with a lockdown defender, but having a build that gives you some defense and gives you some shooting. Now for you sharpshooters, 
it might be more problematic to have defense in your build. Uh, mainly, mainly, you might want to go with something like a playmaking sharpshooter, a uh, sharpshooting playmaker, mainly because the simple fact is they have enough speed and lateral quickness to possibly keep their opponent in front of them. But because these bars don't record, like because these um, these caps don't necessarily represent, oh, this person is going to have a, a, a 90 plus, you know, uh, stat in this area, because it doesn't represent that, it could be, you know, one of those things where you're like, hey, it could be problematic for you. So at the end of the day, I'm going to drop uh, some bangers this week going over a lot of different builds. You might end up seeing six, seven videos a day, if possible, of comparisons. And uh, I'm hoping that you all don't just uh, get get a little angry of, of notifications just popping up left and right, especially if you follow the channel. Um, subscribe to the channel if you aren't following the channel, because like I said, when it comes down to it, I want to make sure that you have all the information that you necessarily need to to at least make a preliminary result of what kind of build you want to be able to help you narrow down the builds that you're looking at. And maybe I can give you some in and some insight and uh, and just some information that says, hey, this might be the bill for me. Hey, this might not be the bill for me. Based on what he's saying, uh, I might not mess with this build. It might not be as effective as I wanted it to be. So, like I said, I know I rambled for a long time, but I kind of wanted to make sure that you all know. Like I said, if you came all the way here to the end towards the centers, um, once again, I will be taking each and every individual position, each and every individual build, and I'm going to be breaking it down to screenshots and I'm going to upload the screenshot screenshots to a Dropbox or, you know, just some uh, some online storage where and I'll drop a link where everybody can download it and gather from. I think I'm going to drop it in my Google box, my Google Drive box or what, my Google Dropbox, my Google box. Yeah, that look, I did it last year and I'm going to do it again this year um, and then post links on both Twitter and in the videos. So that way, if you want to go and kind of break it down by a particular position and you just want a screen cap of a particular position in 1080p, then you'll have that. Anybody who wants to use the video, any pieces of the video, you're more than welcome to. I can't wait to see what the community is looking at. Um, for us, what kind of builds they're they're expecting, and maybe also at the same time we kind of can find out which builds are going to be the more more in demand builds that people are going to look for or people are going to build. Just so that way, when 2K does drop, we kind of know this going in. You know, I'm hoping you all enjoyed the video. Sorry that it took uh, 18 minutes of your time, but uh, I'm gonna catch you guys on the next one in the description below. Leave me some information on what two bills you would like to see me compare. Like, let me know a, of a couple of combos that you want to hear from. I got ones that I plan on working on myself, but I do want to know what is it y'all want to hear me talk about when it comes down to the bills, which bills you want me to break down. Let me know in the comments down below. I'm going to catch you guys on the next one. I'm out. Peace.